Hey everybody, it's Mike from Vaught RV. I've got a treat for you today. Sometimes smaller is better. And in this case, how about something that's only 18 feet long, to be exact, 17 feet and 10 inches long. Maybe you need a unit, you want the comforts of home, you're a single person, maybe you're a traveling nurse, but you want to have a comfortable bed, a place to use the facility, a place to warm up a little something to eat. You've got all that in this little unit. Guess what it is? It is a Jayco Comet, a brand new model for 2024, a Jayco Comet. It's got an Aqua Hot Hydronic water heater and heating system in it. You've also got a 54 by 72 inch convertible bed up front. And the very back is a wet bath. So what that means is everything's in one room but it's got some pretty cool design elements in it. And you got a 32 inch overhead TV up here. Really cool stuff. So, hey, let's hop in here and have a look. Now we're on a Dodge Ram ProMaster 1500 chassis. So look at this guy. It's easy to drive, it's easy to park. You can fit this into any standard parking space, certainly any campsite on the planet. But if you're going through the drive through you're going through fast food places, you can park this anywhere. It's low profile. It is a true B-class unit. So to just give you an idea of what we've got, a nice comfortable front lounge area here. This is going to convert into a bed. I'll show that to you in just a second. Another seating area here, so if you make a friend at the campsite, you got a place to converse a little bit. Up front, over the top, we have a pull-down 32-inch TV. How about that? So I got the TV that's nice viewing angle, but then I can stow it away when I don't want it. Now, first impressions when you look at that, boy, this it, everything's a little bit small, but remember, we're in less than an 18-foot footprint. Pretty decent amount of storage all the way around for something this small. So how about that? Boom, 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 boom. I've got more storage over here. This is our solar controller. So we do have solar up on top to help keep those batteries topped off. Your power inverter controls are in here as well. So, and each of these uh, compartments are carpeted, helps keep it quiet going down the road. Stuff's not sliding around quite so bad. Also, it's got a JBL flip portable Bluetooth speaker, which is really nice. I've got one myself charge your phone from it and uh, cast music to it. I like the JBL flip. I like the JBL brand. So we have our little galley here, solid surface countertop with full extension drawer glides. And then you have these locks when you're in, in, uh, in transit, make sure there's a popped in so they won't open up. Got our sink cover right here. So a pretty decent amount of prep space. Again, I'm thinking this unit really speaks to the single traveler. A couple could, could certainly get by in here if, if you don't mind cozying up on the relatively small bed. But again, I'm thinking traveling nurse, uh, maybe an insurance adjuster, those kinds of things where I want to have climate controlled comfort, I want to work from here, and I want to have my own space and be mobile while, do, while doing it all those things, check all those boxes. Not a huge fridge, but nothing in here is huge, but big enough, you get a little freezer compartment, place to keep some drinks and some leftovers cold, a small microwave here as well. Now, back into the business part of the unit. This is our wet bath. Obviously, this is the back door that I have open to kind of show you. I got a shower curtain that wraps all the way around this area. So immediately you look at this and say, well, I don't want water getting in here. Of course you don't. I can hang some clothes in there and that's a lagoon table that I can use up there on a couple locations to eat from, put my laptop on or whatever. Keep in mind, you'll put, bring this shower curtain all the way around and here's where you shower. It's also where you use the toilet. It's also got a sink, boom and boom. So yeah, you can do what you need to do in here. Here's a little sink. When you're done, pop the faucet away, pop that away. Nice. Now this is a cassette style toilet. So your black tank, such as it is, is right inside here. It's a cassette toilet. Release that, pull this out, take it to a dump station, pour it out, and you're off to the races uh, to continue on. 
Obviously the capacity is very limit on, limited on these, but it avoids you having to have an otherwise larger holding black tank. It's all right there. Over on this side, I have a quick connect spray, uh, spray port right here so I can wash off my feet um, or the dog or whatever. It's got a little sprayer right here and your quick connect there, so very handy. Plus I have AC power uh, back here should you need it. So pretty neat design for a very small footprint. Now like I said, what do you do when it comes time to lay down? I'm going to convert this into a bed really quick, but keep in mind these seats rotate around just like this. We're on the ProMaster 1500 chassis. This thing's just a blast to drive. It drives like a big SUV. It's very nimble. It's just really fun to drive. I have a Lagoon table mount right here and a Lagoon uh, table mount here. So I can be sitting here, have my table and my laptop here doing some work or eating from it. Same drill over on that side. USB charging ports. Here's the JBL uh, flip that I was referring to. It'll pop right out of there. These things really sound great. It's a perfect size for a little, little unit like this. So here's our bed situation. You're just gonna take this and remove it out of the way. Before I do that, look what we have here. I can pull out a countertop extension so I have a little extra room. I can use that to eat from here, put a laptop on, eat from here, put a lagoon table there and or there so it's nice and it just tucks away when I don't need it. So what you're going to do is just take this out of the way and this is going to flip down onto here. And the one this does, you can see these slats, this is just gonna pull forward, you're gonna spread the cushions out here, and you'll have a bed. And just like that, we have a pretty comfortable bed right here. Yeah, a couple people could sleep here too, certainly one person, plenty of room. Also right here on our entry door, there is a screen, a zippered screen, so I can pull that across and have lots of fresh air coming in and out. Probably wouldn't do it while you're sleeping, but you could if you're out in the boondocks pull that across and you have your have your uh, fresh air right inside the door here I can check our tank levels tank heaters water pump and then our little generator start and stop so yes in addition to solar I have our generator switch up here too so you're truly self-contained this is a lot of fun again just a couple vocations that I'm thinking of insurance adjuster traveling nurse have to travel out into remote areas, but you want a controlled environment to work from, and maybe you have a small pet you're gonna bring along with you. Checks a lot of boxes, and you can park this thing anywhere. This is a Comet, a Jayco Comet, a brand new model in 2024. Kind of fun to check out these new things. I'm learning about it just like you are for the first time that I've ever laid eyes on it. So what do you think? I'd love to hear what you think. Drop some comments below. As always, and I always ask you to do this, please click like and subscribe so we can stay in touch with you when we post more videos like this. My name's Mike. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.